If you guys have seen Jason Tatum's new body transformation, you guys should be really scared right now. Of course, if I get into the content phase, could leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the post notifications. I am trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, and your subscription would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. Now, this was a report that came out last year that Jason Tatum reportedly had grown to six foot ten. Mind you, he came into the league around six seven, six foot eight, and he not only grew two inches, but there was a lot of rumors that he gained about between 10 to 15 pounds of muscle. And I mean, if you look to the comparison between Jason Tatum from his rookie year and his second year in the league, you would be very surprised that those are not two different people. For context, how scary this is, here's a thumbnail for from Fly Mike's video that he made about a year ago talking about his body transformation. The one on the left is his rookie season, the one on the right is his sophomore and his third season. Now something that I read not only last year but this year is that when Jason Tatum had this transformation he put on a bunch of muscle, people were saying, oh this is going to affect your shooting, you're not going to be as good as a basketball player. Because we've seen players like Giannis how when he was really skinny back in the day, he was an efficient shooter, he could shoot free throws, but then obviously when you put on muscle and get a lot more taller, yeah, your shooting gets a lot more worse. Now on the screen right now we see Jason Tatum's numbers, but if we do see at the bottom right now where he scored 26 points per game that was the season that he grew about six foot ten and gained that muscle now you may look on the screen and see oh wait look jason tatum shot almost 39 percent from the three yeah that's not bad but if we look at his rookie year then he significantly got worse between these past four years but if we actually look let's look at his three points attempts and three point made on average he shot three threes per game which is i mean isn't too bad and he made about 1.3 of those threes but if we look at that first of all jason tatum was not the leading scorer at that team they had guys like kyrie irving and gordon hayward and other guys however though if we do look at his 2019 through 20 through 20 and 21 which have been marked as his best seasons by see by the star we can see that first of all he went up to 20 plus points per game in both those seasons and if you do look at three points attempts you see he took seven threes and uh, for the three points made he made around three so yeah that's not a bad percentage considering the fact that you're the leading scorer and you're taking a lot more threes now yes he did play less games be completely honest i don't think that would have changed if you watch jason tatum play you could clearly see that his scoring got a whole lot better and he looked way different as a player and with the boston celtics not really doing a whole lot in free agency but besides i guess getting ennis Cantor and like dennis Schroeder, that's not going to really change the fact that jason tatum is probably going to be averaging 30 plus points per game however though dennis Schroeder is definitely someone that can pick up a little bit of the scoring and kind of take kemba walker's place but other than that it really does seem like jason tatum is going to have to do all the scoring just like last season now i would like to keep in mind in fact that jason tatum did play for team usa and he honestly looks like one of the best players playing out there to be completely honest i think jason tatum is the sole reason why that team ended up winning gold besides him and kevin durant it really did seem like he was like the leading scorer in every single game and he was really showing out on twitter i've seen a lot of dumb statements about jason tatum growing muscle and i would like to show a couple of these so the first one is that the fact that this guy basically said that this won't improve jason tatum's defensive ability which if you watch basketball these past couple of years and you've seen these players that have gotten way better at defense you would know that first of all a player like Giannis, who went from a skinny boy to now one of the best defenders in the league you can clearly see that his defense got a whole lot better and they're both around six foot ten personally i think Giannis is probably actually seven foot a guy like jason tatum with this muscle that he's growing right now we could clearly see that there's a really good chance that his defense will improve just simple things that aren't on the stat sheets like re i mean obviously rebounding is on the stat sheets but like being able to hang with bigs being able to get rebounds over bigger guys just simple stuff like that that you don't really see on the stat sheet that is stuff that jason tatum will improve in even stuff like being able to block players a lot better and being able to just muscle up with them it's simple stuff that, like i said we're not going to talk about on the stat sheet but it is something important in the game obviously jason tatum and michael jordan are not at all the same caliber of players but a good example is michael Jordan who earlier in his year when he would get you know messed with by the bad boy Pistons and he would be thrown around to the ground he wasn't really having any muscle he was a very skinny guy and Jason Tatum putting on this muscle just like MJ did will have a positive effect on his game I feel like if he uses it the right way because obviously Michael Jordan is not as much of a big man as Jason Tatum is because he was more of a scorer inside it would somewhat beat you in the post but it would really only be things like post fadeaways and stuff like that so yeah but obviously Jason Tatum and Michael Jordan have two different play styles but my point is that muscle going on a player could be really impactful for the career however though a player like Giannis who really didn't need to practice shooting because all he needed to do was just and I know it's something so dumb that I hate when people say it but all he had to do was just run and dunk now, obviously me saying it like that is honestly the most simple way I can put it because obviously there's a lot more components to Giannis's game but basically yeah Jason Tatum has a lot better when it comes to shooting threes he has a really good mid-range game for the most part it really does seem like Jason Tatum is gonna go against the other teams like best player for example because a lot of the best players really do seem to be like shooting guards and small forwards also though 
Tatum will definitely probably have that assignment. For example, when the Lakers and the Celtics played, Jason Tatum is going to be on LeBron. And to be completely honest, if he can learn to be a little better at defense, I think Jason Tatum will do really well versus LeBron. I'm saying plays that Jason Tatum is physically guarding LeBron one-on-one, -on -one, I think Tatum will do very well. Hell, look at even LeBron as an example. When he put on a lot of muscle, that's when he went into his prime. I'm not sure if Jason Tatum is in his prime. And if this isn't his prime, I don't know what's going to happen. There's a very good chance that within the next five years, he will easily be a top five player in the NBA. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that Jason Tatum will not only improve as a player, but his whole team will improve slowly as we go on with these past couple years. Because I do feel like that the Eastern Conference will start to be a little more open up once that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving thing ends. But even then, though, if Jason Tatum can get a little bit help, I really do believe that they will be able to compete with the Nets. I think we all remember the infamous dunk when Jason Tatum dunked on LeBron. It really did seem like LeBron had no problem messing with Jason Tatum. But now, to be completely honest, with Jason Tatum's new frame and as he's going to keep going, not only as a player, but obviously physically, I really do believe that a whole lot of players are not going to want to mess with Jason Tatum. Now, like I've been trying to say this whole video, and I'm going to end off with this, that if Jason Tatum can learn to use his new muscle, and there's a good chance he could have grown, we haven't really heard anything, but you never can know, to be completely honest. If Jason Tatum can use his new muscle, right, and he can be better in the post, he can be a better defensive player, and if he can be a better scorer, I think this is definitely a good investment that he made to his body. But with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys do leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on the post notifications, so let me know if you guys have seen any new NBA players that have made new body transformations, maybe they put on a lot more muscle. I do like talking about this type of stuff, because it goes to show that players can really grow, and I really wish I was making NBA content years ago, when Giannis started to grow a lot of muscle, because I thought that would have been kind of cool to see like year by year, as he started growing as a player. But like I said, it's going to do the video. If you guys did enjoy it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I will see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Take care. Peace. If you have made it to the end of the video, here are two videos on the screen that I think you guys will really enjoy. Anyways, cue the outro. Base nine,